मैंने नहीं किया
जिसे प्रॉब्लम हो रहा था वो होएगा दो है क्यों बाय ऑनलाइन अरे कितना उनको छुट्टी चाहिए नहीं तब छोड़ देते इसमें प्रॉब्लम ओके व्हाट वी वर डिस्कसिंग बोलो व्हाट वाज द लास्ट टॉपिक वी डिस्कस हाँ क्या तो क्वेश्चंस आई गिव यू सो व्हाट आर द ऑर्गेनाइज्ड वे फिनिश वे फिनिश इट बाय टॉप ऑन रिया चेक करो लाइसेंस वो स्टॉलिंग एंड प्लस वी ग्रेटिकल आई टॉप ऑन रिया आई टॉप ऑन रिया सो दिस क्लास में मैं फिर इस पूरा ऑर्गेनाइज्ड हो गया So for animals we are left with only one organel and some few organels of the plants, and then we we'll have to uh, look into the diagram of the plant cell. So this is what we have to. We are left with this chapter. Ah, uh, bolo. What are the questions I gave you? And the first one was what type of structure is present in the quality produce? And the second one was what do you understand by the detoxification role of this? Ah, rest all of you. Take out your notebooks. Look into the questions that I gave you the other day. Did you try writing down the answers? Yes. Second class of organic. First one I wrote. What did I write? For it produces uh, hormones and in, hormones, enzymes, and proteins as a chemical secretion for the cell. What it produces? Golgi secretes. What type of chemical substances does the golgi secrete? Golgi secretes variety of chemical substances such as enzymes, proteins, and hormones. ये लिखना है. What is the next question I gave you? SCR. लिखा किसने लिखा आंसर? Martina. No, right? I explain you no detoxification, bro. Yes, bro. Acha. Explain the role of uh, explain the detoxification function of SCR. What I explain you 
ACR, which is majorly present in certain type of cells, or more present in certain type of cells, has the capacity of breaking down uh, the poisonous chemical substances in our body, or zinc in our body, to less poisonous form, less toxic forms. This process is known as detoxification. Those of you have not written, write. And you just check your answer. If there's anything to add, you add. All right. Oh, oh, oh. It's yours. Second time. Okay, go. Water bottle bench me straight, Rakona. Otherwise, with the side of near you, you write. Adi. Now, write down SER, SER plays an important role of, plays an important role of breaking down, SER plays an important role of breaking down toxic chemical substances, Toxic chemical substances present in our cells. Toxic chemical substances present in our cells to less toxic forms, to, to less toxic forms, to less toxic forms. SER plays an important role of breaking down the toxic chemical substances in our cells to less toxic forms and neutralizes them. Neutralizes, neutralizes, N E U T R A L I. And what is after less toxic? Less toxic forms, forms, F O R M S, forms, and neutralizes them. And neutralizes them. Full stop. This happens especially in liver cells. This happens especially in liver cells. But this can be asked a question. Acha, now he's not there. He's there. No? He's there. Spandan. Spandan, you are there, no? Yes, ma'am. Spandan, we have a power issue. Agar kuch beach mein power gaya, to aap yes, ma'am. Ke baat mein join kar. Ma'am, ma'am, ma you are not clear, ma'am. Could you repeat? In case, in case you are getting disconnected, no, there are some power issues here. In case you get connected, join back immediately. That is what I'm saying. Immediately. After some. We let you know. Yeah. Uh, okay, ma'am. Fine, ma'am. Now, so that is the answer of this. Next question is what? What is the next question I gave you? Uh, what is it? This takes place especially in liver cells. This takes place especially in liver cells. Done. Okay. Now, what is the next question? Put up it below. Only two questions I get. The other one you wrote, no? Enzymes, hormones, all of you wrote, no? Okay. So today, first of all, the primary organelles we are already done. Mitochondria we are done. In case I'm already done with this topics, I want to give you a five mark mock test. Just a basic concept test. I don't want you to write descriptions right now. But jo padhaya ja raha hai class mein, you should be able to understand. So that is why you should participate also in the class. Ask doubts, confusion. Okay. So let's see first. So we are done with mitochondria. I said, <laughs> You should enjoy studies. 
पढ़ाई को जब खेलने जाते हो कितना मजा आता है ना तो पढ़ाई को भी ऐसे ना यू शुड लव टू स्टडी मुझे तो कोई बोलेगा कि सारा दिन तुम बुक्स लेके बैठे रहो और पढ़ते रहो पढ़ते आई बी सो हैप्पी
skeletal motion. So this is what you are supposed to understand. The structure, the function. So what I said, the centrioles are basically a type of proteins, basically present where on the two ends of the nucleus, opposite ends of the nucleus. What are they generally meant for? They are meant for the process of division of the nucleus. Something like, if I just show a stage of the cell showing that how actually they help in the process of cell division, I'm talking about a stage of cell division, all these details we'll learn then standard later. Uh, this is a cell which is in the process of cell division where I'm saying that uh, this is the centriole and the proteins inside, this is the centriole and the proteins inside. And what are they doing? Uh, they are producing a fine networks this way of threads. Uh, and they're also protein, this entire basket like structure that they form, that's also protein. This is what we talk about as spindle fibers. Spindle, because it's changing the shape of a spindle, no? So spindle fibers. Then how do they help in the process of cell division? They help in the process of cell division something this way, that certain chromosomes, they will arrange themselves as certain chromosomes arranging this way, certain chromosomes arranging this way, and these spindle fibers will allow the movement of the chromosomes towards the two ends, and ultimately now the two cells can be formed. So the process of cell division cannot happen in the animal cells without this entire structure. The spindle and the spindle will only be formed from the cell root. Okay. Do we find a structure in the plant cells? Never. Plant cells do not have such type of structure, but cell division happens in the plant cell in a different manner. In a different manner. Ma'am. Hello. Bolo. Ma'am, I didn't understand now that how this helps in the cell division. You don't understand the method. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the method I did not explain because the method you don't want, the, the need. But if, uh, if you are able to see that the diagram that I have drawn here is only to show you that this centriole or the centrosome helps in the process of formation of the spindle. Helps only in the formation of a network of fibers like this. Can you see a spindle form of fibers I have drawn? Where the chromosomes are attached and the chromosomes later will be separated. Achha. To understand how they would generally help in the separation, I would show one next stage of cell division where the division stage would something appear this way. Jahape abhi ek jagape ye central is tarah se aagya, dusre jagape central is tarah se aagya. And what about this fiber? These fibers are fading now. These fibers are fading now. Uh, because the chromosomes have already been pulled up, which chromosomes is there are on this end, and some chromosomes have come to this end, and after some time, these two cells are going to separate fully. They will fully separate. Up, when almost separate, hojaega. Now the two cells are going to separate. These are specific stages. I'm just copying and drawing some one or two stages in between. These are sequential stages that we, are going to uh, that we are going to learn. And if I start explaining the entire stages now, that will obviously take another 15 minutes. So I'm just giving you a fair idea that how exactly centriole and centrosome help in the process of chromosome movement. Only that much for the time being you're supposed to know. Is that clear? Clear it is? Yes, ma'am. So, abhi function ye do likna hai. What are the two functions you will write for the centriole? Centriole helps in the process of cell division. If function puts your head that much, it is enough for you. Okay? Centriole helps in the process of cell division. Ye likna hai. And uh, also helps in the process of formation of the spindle, the spindle fiber. So, this is all that we have to study about the animal cell. Now, we are going to talk about the plant cells. What are the plant cell organelles? No, no, it's not. Ah, make it fast. I'll make it fast. As I explained, you keep writing down the point that time only. Listen and write. Listen and write. Now, we are going to talk about the plant cell organelles. Plant cell organelles. Now, the plant cell organelles that we are going to talk about would be some additional three organelles that the plant cells only have, apart from the common organelles present in the plant and the animal. So, so far the organelles that I already discussed about, that is mitochondria, the body, the endoplasmic reticulum. These three organelles are present in the plants also. What about lysosomes? Yes, less than in number. What about centrosome? Not at all. So now, 
Apart from the three organelles, that is mitochondria, Golgi, and the plasmid reticulum, what are the other organelles the plant has? Let us start understanding. These diagrams you don't have to draw. If you want to see these diagrams, you can look into any of the stages of cell division diagrams from the net also. Diagram of the drawing is done. Now, let us talk about the plant cells. There we are talking about specialized cell organelles that the plant cells only has. I start with the cell wall. I start with cell wall. Now, the cell wall, when I, when I talk about the cell wall, the limiting membrane of the plant, the limiting membrane of the animal cell was what? The cell membrane. What is the other name of the cell membrane? Plasma, plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. What is the composition of the plasma membrane we studied? Jump high, PJ jump. Leg. We can't go to him. But this should be the biggest notepad and the biggest notebook. Lipoprotein. Ah, lipoprotein. Very good. Lipo. Lipoprotein. Lipo. Yad rakna. Ye basic cheez hi yad rakna. Theek hai. Spandan yad tha ki Shreya. Ye dono aate the kya class mein? Maam, maine bola bhi maam. Aapne suna nahi shayad. Aapne tumhi toh jor se bol raha hai. Kaise mujhe suna hi nahi dega? Now, when we talk about the cell wall. Composition kya hai? That's a difference. Try to understand. I will ask you to write down certain differences once I finish explaining this. So remember the differences. Just now I said, what is the composition of cell membrane? Lipo what did he say? Lipo Lipoprotein, lipids and proteins. Now we are going to write down the cell wall has a composition of cellulose. What is cellulose? It's a type of a sugar. What is cellulose? Cellulose is a type of a polysaccharide. Polysaccharide, not the complex sugar it is. So this uh, cellulose is a type of a polysaccharide, which is a type of a sugar, type of a complex sugar it is. Since it is made up of sugar, the polysaccharide, S-A-C-C-H-A-R-I-D-E, polysaccharide. What is the other feature of the cell wall? The cell wall is rigid. Unlike the cell membrane, which we have studied, it is made up of lipids and proteins, and that's the reason it is flexible. No, the cell wall is not flexible. It is rigid. Form it is. Form. It is rigid. Uh, can you tell me one more feature of the cell membrane that we had learned? It was form. It was really form. Huh? It was semi-permeable. Semi-permeable. Semi so, Abhi, you have to come contrast. I'm going to write. It is freely permeable. What is the meaning of this? Freely permeable meaning it allows the movement of all molecules in and out. Any molecule can pass through this membrane. Any molecule can enter into the cell, by the way of the cell wall. Any, any molecule can keep the cell, by the way of the cell wall. But uh, is it not having the cell if any molecule enters and any molecule leaves out? Uh, no. Uh, for a plant cell, though the cell wall allows entry of all molecule and giving out of all molecule, but the cell membrane is the second gate there. In a plant cell, the cell membrane is the second gate. If I have to talk about the cell wall uh, and the cell membrane of a plant cell, then this is the plant cell. The plant cell has got two membranes. And first of all, this is the cell wall, and second is the cell membrane. So even though the cell wall is allowing all molecules to enter, no, the cell membrane will not take all molecules into the cytoplasm. So that's the reason the plant cell is saved. But the animal cell as it is, has got such type of a property, does not allow all molecules to get in. A black pen then now because it's getting covered. So uh, when we are talking about, there, there, there. So when we are talking about the freely permeable nature, remember what is meant by the freely permeable nature, allowing all type of molecules to enter. Then what is about the functions of the cell membrane we had written? What is about the functions of the cell membrane we had written? What is about the functions of the cell membrane we had written? We had written functions of the cell membrane like it protects the cell, protects the cell, holds the cell contents. No? Protects the cell, holds the cell contents. So endo function common head. So we can write here, here also the cell wall is not actually holding the cell contents. In the plant cell also, 
It is the cell membrane which is holding the cell conveyance. So you cannot write that the cell wall is holding the cell conveyance. But since the cell wall is rigid, since the cell wall, I'm sorry, since the cell wall is rigid, since the cell wall is rigid, what happens? The cell wall generally gives a definite shape to the black cells. Since the cell wall is rigid, it generally gives a definite shape. So it generally gives a definite shape to the plant cells. Gives a definite shape to the plant cells. Okay. And second is when we are talking about the cellulose cell wall. The cellulose cell wall, apart from being rigid, giving shape, also prevents the bursting of the cells, bursting of the plant cells, especially when we talk about the aquatic plants. Why like that? So suppose there are a, there is a detailed procedure or a phenomena to explain, but if I cut short and tell you that. See, whenever I'm talking about the cell membrane, water also may be uh, allowed to move in. The cell wall, cell membrane allows water molecules also to move in. No, that's not we said the permeability nature. So yes, water can also uh, water can also move in, move out. So if that is the process, and we are saying that the cell wall is allowing so much water to come in, but cell membrane can hold some semi-permeable nature. With this reference, always we have to understand that if the aquatic plants, which are always in water, so much of water can easily flow in, then uh, is it that the plant cells of the aquatic plants always keep on destroying? or always get destroyed and burst out. No, they easily don't get destroyed and burst out. It is only because of the firmness of the cell wall. The firmness of the cell wall does not allow the bursting of the cell of uh, aquatic plant cells especially so easily. This outer lining is just like a tough layer, but this lining, yes, it can expand whenever there is water. If you keep on expanding, 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 if you keep on becoming bigger, 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 just like the balloon, it will keep on becoming bigger. The cell wall does not exp expand or extend. It is just firm to not allow the cell to burst. Prevent bursting of the cells. Prevent bursting of the plant cells. And this bursting of the plant cell basically is applicable when I talk about the aquatic plants. Aquatic plants, okay? Cell wall. Remember the differences after sometime I've asked you to write. What also about plant cells we are going to study now? We are talking about plant cells now. Uh, what next about the plant cell we are going to study? The next type of organisms that we are going to study for the plant cells is plastids. 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 Now, if I have to draw the plastids in a plant cell, where should I draw? How should I draw? Uh, the plastids more or less appear like this. Now, say suppose this is the uh, plant, uh, this is the plant cell, and the nucleus would be more or less near the center. Whenever you are drawing a plant cell, I'll ask you to draw after some time. Whenever you are drawing a plant cell, the nucleus is always towards one side of the cell, not like a animal cell. We, in the animal cell, we draw the nucleus in the center, no, always. For the plant cell, we don't draw that. In the plant cell, why we don't draw the nucleus in the center? Because the plant cell has got a big vacuole to fill up the major part of the cell. And now the nucleus is almost here. Okay. I'm trying to show you the, the plastids. How do they look like? The plastids are more or less like the mitochondria. The plastids are more or less like the mitochondria. The mitochondria more or less over double walled. Yes, they are also double walled. And they have got some coil like structures like this. Some coil like structures like this, which are interconnected. Magnify the structure to see how would they appear. They would more or less appear like this. The plastids more or less appear like this. I said they are double walled structures, exactly the same as like the mitochondria. And they have some disc like structures like this. They have some disc like structures like this. And all these disc like structures are interconnected. These disc like structures, sometimes they are 10, 12 of them, sometimes 5 to 8 of them. And these disc like structures, they are all interconnected this way. They are all interconnected this way. What are these disc like structures called? This is what is called the grana. 
And what is this cytoplasm called? The cytoplasm of the plastic. What is the cytoplasm called? The cytoplasm is called stroma. That's it about the plastic that structure that you have to learn so far. So what I'm saying, diagram drawing for the chloroplast of plastic is not there for you, but only a fair idea. What is it? What does it look like? What are the main parts? So plastics majorly present in the plant cell, not in the animal cell. So we are talking about the plastids only in the plant cell. What are the types? Straight away we look into this before we go into the function. Because the types, functions will be according to the types. So let us talk about the types. What are the types? The first type that we talk about is chloroplast. Chloroplast, the first and the most commonly occurring plastid. What is the next? We talk about chromoplast. And what is the third? Leucoplast. Okay. So now let us learn their functions. What are the three types of plastics? Commonly, remember the names. Chloroplast, which is the most commonly occurring plastic. Every, every plant cell will majorly have them. Chloroplast. What is the third? What is the second? Chromoplast. And what is the third? Leucoplast. Uh, if I have to talk about chloroplasts, why, why are they present? Majorly in the leaves or in the young green stem. That's their location where they are present. What function? What function? Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Uh, what actually do they produce? They produce a green pigment known as chlorophyll. And because of the presence of chlorophyll, the green leaves, the young green stem are able to produce glucose by photosynthesis. Is that so? You have read this in, other, in the previous standards also. So the chloroplast are that type of a plastic which produces a green pigment known as chlorophyll. What is the role? Undergo photosynthesis. Helps that part of the plant to undergo photosynthesis. And as it is undergoing the process of photosynthesis, then what? Since it undergoes the process of photosynthesis, it can produce glucose as a result of photosynthesis. What do, do they produce? They can produce glucose, the organic food. So next time, chromoplast. Where are they present? What do they produce? Chromoplast, first of all, if I have to write, where are they present? They are present in the uh, non-green leaves, I can say. They are present in the non-green leaves. What are you Green, non-green, okay? Leaves, non-green, okay? Okay, na? In cooler countries, we have always uh, seen, especially by cooler countries, you talk about the northern part of our country, Kashmir uh, and this uh, type of states. There are specialized type of trees, where leaves are not majorly green. Leaves would be yellow, leaves would be red. If I talk about some very cold countries of the world, very cold countries where leaves are not necessarily green always, we find specialized type of leaves there. Leaves are red in color, leaves are yellow in color, leaves are orange in color. But are they capable of undergoing the process of photosynthesis? Yes. Because they have got specialized type of plastids, chromoplast. So, the Okia, where are they present? Non green leaves, where they are present. At the same time, they are also present in the petals of flowers, petals, flower petals. Flower petals that we get to see here also, both the petals of the rose, the petals of the china rose, the petals of the lily, the petals of jasmine, any type of a flower you name. The color is because of the chromoplast. All the of you that. They are also present in fruits and vegetables which are color. Can you name one or two food vegetable color? Apple, the new card is colored inside. Oh. Dragon fruit, when you cut, slightly colored inside. Carrots, fully colored, no? When you cut, also it's colored inside. What is? Beetroot, cut, colored inside, no? Orange, or or Orange. Orange. Papaya, oranges. These are type of fruits, crops which are rich in chromoplast. What is the function of this plastic? Gives color. Gives color to fruits, 
smart petals, etc. That's their function. Leucoplast, another type of a plastic, another type of a plastic. Yes, they may be present in uh, almost all type of plant cells, root, root cells, root cells, or cells or stem, or even leaves. All. But what are they doing? Are they producing any pigment? No. They are colorless plastics. They are. They are colorless plastics. They are colorless plastics. Then what is their function? They help in the storage of starch. They help in the storage of starch. They help in the storage of oil, oil droplets. So this type of leucoplast, they may be very well present. The leucoplast may be very well present in the the leucoplast may be very well present in the variety of plants. I am talking about the cells of the potato, the cells of the leaves, any leaf you talk about, in the cells of the flower, in the cells of the nut, in the cells of the grain, in the cells of the rice, in the cells of the maize, the cells of the ground nut, any type of cells. But they are not responsible for producing any color. But all cells, all these plants which are for the green leaves, green parts, are obviously under the process of photosynthesis. The photosynthesis is a glucose, and the excess of glucose in a plant cell always gets converted into starch. Complex carbohydrate. Oh. And this com complex carbohydrate will always be stored in the cells of the plants. But kahape, majorly in a specialized type of a structure, plastic, which is colorless, and that is what is known as leucoplast. So what are the three types of plastics? Chloroplast, chromoplast, leucoplast. So that's the second organel about the plant that we have got. The third organel about the plant that we have to study which is the vacuole now. You can see how exactly the vacuole looks like in a plant cell, the vacuole. So we're now talking about the third organelle and the third organelle is the vacuole. This is how the vacuole looks like. A big empty structure as if inside. But is it actually empty? No, it has got a liquid. What is that liquid called? The sap. So if I talk about, if I talk about the vacuole that the plant cell has, which is a big bubble-like structure inside the plant cells, and uh, which has got a very thin membrane, which has got a very thin membrane. So the vacuole almost fills up the plant cell. Almost fills up the plant cell. So that is what you are supposed to understand, that it is almost filling up the space of the plant cell, leaving a small amount of cytoplasm where the organelles are all arranged. What is their function? What is their, uh, they are single walled. And what is their membrane known as? The membrane is known as tonoplast. Membrane is known as tonoplast. Membrane is known as tonoplast. If you remember the name of this, the membrane is known as tonoplast. Tonoplast, single wall. Which one is tonoplast? This one is tonoplast. This is the tonoplast that I'm talking about. Now, what is the function? Function is what? Function of the vacuolis, function of the vacuolis, it stores the sap. But what does the sap contain? Sap is what actually? Sap is actually water and dissolved salts, no? various different types of salts, water, salt, violence, dissolved. No? So sap means what? Sap means the water, which has got various amount of salts, ions, minerals dissolved. Okay. Then what can be the other function of the vacuole? Provides with a turgidity, that's right. Provides turgidity to plant cells. That provides turgidity to plant parts, plant cells. What is the meaning of turgidity? Let's learn. What is the meaning of turgidity? Now, say, suppose, did you ever notice the leaves of small uh, shrubs or herbs? Now, 
Most of you, if you have content plans at home, then you must have very well observed that. Uh, if I talk about the simple Tulsi plan, that we, I think most of us, we have got such a kind of plan at home, you know, Tulsi or the simple, small, small, different the planning plans like the Jasmine and all. Huh? In this type of plans, if you have noted, then not, right now, nowadays, it's very hard look in the afternoon. And if you notice the leaves, are the leaves very fresh looking and very uh, spread out and like they are, are they? No. Uh, nowadays, uh, since uh, in the morning, if you notice the leaves, the leaves are uh, almost rolling down, no? they are uh, drooping down, they, they look very dull. Why? Uh, because so much of the water is lost from the leaves because of the high temperature. But you see the same leaf again next morning. Or you observe this leaf uh, late at night, you will be able to see that the leaves are again fresh looking. In the afternoon, they were all rolled down, they were all crumpled and they were almost drooping up. No, now they're again fresh. Why? Because so much of water has entered, the backyard got quite filled with water, and since now the backyard is because uh, 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 during the uh, hours of the night and early morning, the rate of consumption classes or the loss of water is much less. So the plants are having so much of water, the backyard is having so much of water. Say like us, no? When we get dehydrated, what happens when it's feeling so dull? But when we have plenty of water, the day you are traveling or something, and you are not able to draw it, uh, drink any amount of fluids and water, what happens? That shows in our face, no, that we have become so dull and so exhausted, so tired. Same is happening with the plant also when the amount of the water is less. So this is what we are to understand. It means the condition of the vehicle which is filled with water. If the baker is not filled with water, we talk about the opposite term. We say flaccid, flaccid. What is the meaning of flaccid? Cells which has got less amount of water. Turgid, cells which has got adequate amount of water. And if the cells have got adequate amount of water, how do the plant parts look like? They look fresh, they look green. They look spread out. No? So these are the basic characteristics of the plant cells that you have to remember. Now, what did we learn? Let us summarize before I give you one question. So, what did we learn? Ma'am, ma oh, oh no. ma could you pronounce this word after provides? Provides. Turgidity. Turgidity. T U R G I D I T Y. Okay, ma'am. It was not very clear over here. Ah, T U R G I D I T Y. Turgidity. Turgidity. Now, take on question. Write five differences between plant and animal cells. Only five minutes I'll give you. Five differences between plant and animal cells. Make a column and immediately start writing down. If you want to recollect, you may recollect. But book close karke likna hai. You don't have to copy down from the book. We revised also just now what are the differences. If you remember, very good. If you don't remember, close the book and write. Differences, five differences. There are quite a number of them, seven to eight differences. You can easily write. But as of now, five differences. Five differences between the plant and animal cells. Neatly make a table. Plant cell, animal cell. And start writing down the points. So the first. Have you gone in with you? Yes, complete okay. Complete this question, all of you. This is a very common question that will come in your paper. Differences between plant and animal cells. Five differences, obviously, you should know. Five differences between plant and animal cells. Hello, start. Start 
start, start, start. Make a collar and not give you too much, too much of time. Take it in If you want to read, ek bar kar lo, ek bar recollect kar lo. Then close the book and write. So that as it is becomes a learning for you. When you are writing, you see and write, that's of no that's of no use. Chalo, 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 be fast, be fast. Don't waste so much of time. Chalo, don't take so long. Be fast. Fast points, likna hai. You don't have to describe anything. Definite fast, fast points. Start writing. Today itself, we studied four organelles. Based on that, easily you can write so many differences. The answer is here itself on the board. Quite a number of points you get on the board itself right now. Done. Yeah, we have volume there. All of you have to volume, no? And a complete curve. Any interesting complete curve pass? Done. Done. Chalo, chalo, fast. What do you have to memorize? Come out of your memorizing habit. Memorizing, don't memorize. Remember, whenever you are learning, whenever you are sitting for the lecture, school here, yahan pe, try to keep grasping. Try, try to keep grasping and try to remember. What did you hear? What did you study? Done? Just two more minutes, fast. That's it. So simple. Only five differences you have to write. Done? Last five there. Done? Chalo, chalo, chalo. Write fast. The first point, what do you write? Cell one, cell membrane, you can write down. 
cell wall, cell membrane pay, you can write down one difference. Second difference, you can write on plastics. Third difference, you can write on centrosome, centriole. Fourth difference, you can write on vacuole. Plant cell has got one large vacuole. Animal cells may, may possess small vacuoles or may not possess also. Remember that. Animal cells may be completely lacking vacuoles. They may not possess vacuoles or may possess very small vacuoles. But plant cells have got large, single, large vacuoles. Plant cells are comparatively large in size. Animal cells are smaller. And what else we studied here? Animal cells are smaller in size. Plant cells are larger in size. Plant cells are larger in size. What is the other difference I told you when I explained to you this diagram? If it is an animal cell, the nucleus is centrally placed. If it is a plant cell, the nucleus is away from the center. <laughs> if it is an animal cell, nucleus is centrally placed. If it's an plant cell, nucleus is away from the center. Got five points, all of you? Now, take out your volume. Take out your volume. Take some questions that I'm going to try right now. Page 12. Page 12. Volume page 12. Uh, review exercise. Can you see review exercise? Class work section A number one. Tick karte jao. A sub number one karna hai. B sub number two. And uh, B sub number five. Next page. A one, B two, five, six. Next page. Six, eight. Homework section, homework section one and two. And lastly, five. Chalo, keep doing. If, if you uh, see that the quest answers are just one, one word and fill in the blanks and true, false, you may write it down in the volume itself. If it's a difference, if I've given you differences, I don't think I've given you differences. Uh, no, I haven't given you differences to write so far. So all this you can write in the volume itself. You don't have to write anything in the notebook. Keep solving. Write one question parallelly. Ma'am, ma'am. Yes, Could you once repeat? You want me to repeat the questions? Yes, ma'am. I have that A1, B2, ah. 5, and 6. I'll tell you again. I'll tell you again. You can check. I said page number 12, class box section A, A, sub number 1. Sub number three, sub number five. Page 30, number six. Page 13 itself, homework section one, two, five. Okay, ma'am. Now start solving. And parallelly, this is what you do in the volume itself. And parallelly, keep one question in your notebook written as homework. Draw a well-labeled diagram of the plant cell. That will be your homework that you're going to show me next class. Draw a well-labeled diagram. That's your homework. Write and keep in your notebook. Draw a well-labeled diagram of the plant cell. Draw a well-labeled diagram of the plant cell. So that's your homework. Don't forget. You have to complete that. Now you complete this volume question. It's fast. Complete these questions of the body. Wherever there's a doubt, clarify. Any doubt in any of the questions, clarify for Keep writing in the volume itself. 
Any doubt? Which one? Number one, check there, number one, number one. Which one of the following? Uh, so the arguments is correctly matched with the function. Which one of the following is correctly matched with the function? Number one, I'm talking about A sub number one. Which of the ones correct? Now it's not only which one, there are more than one correctly matched with the function, no? So if I ask you the other way, which one is not correctly matched with the function? The last one there. Which one is not correctly matched with the function? 
which one is not correct in match of the function B, uh, mitochondrial situation of enzyme A is the correct answer. Answer is C. C. Okay, so next. Uh, I asked you B. What I asked you to do? A1 and B2. Two. Chalo, B2, let's do it together. All animal cells contain a cell wall. All animal cells contain a cell wall. False. Next, centrosome occurs in animal cells. Centrosome occurs in animal cells. True. Uh, plant cells contain large vacuoles. True. Uh, protoplasm is a part of the cell which surrounds the nucleus. Or, 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 what is it? Cytoplasm surrounds the protoplasm surrounds the protoplasm surrounds the nucleus. No, that's wrong. The cytoplasm surrounding the nucleus. Then what is protoplasm? The nucleus, the nucleus, cytoplasm, and the nucleoplasm. Nucleus is not under the cytoplasm and behind the cytoplasm. Both together, protoplasm. Mm -hmm. A cell is a cell wall is made of protein. Number B, I answer. A cell wall is made of protein. False. False. Okay, all, all shortcuts are there. F. All shortcuts are first or second. Now let us finish with this uh, protoplasm. Now genes are located in the chromosomes. Genes are. Okay, I think I have covered that. When we talk about the nucleus, I did not teach you. Nucleus, we finish or not? No, a okay, nucleus that then is that case just marking a word for nucleus we haven't finished. Capital nuclear nucleus not done. So nucleus is that means dead. So now that I do this question, so I have to say. Otherwise, in this chapter, all the topics we have done, nucleus we are not done. So that will take another five ten minutes. The next class will complete with this. So try solving the question as many as possible. If the nucleus is which questions are there, and if you find confusion, leave that so that you can solve later. Opa, what, I, what did I give you? Drawing diagram of the plant cell. That neatly you will draw only with a pencil. Only with a pencil, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. What is this one, What is this? Shada Vanish. What are you speaking from? You are not answering. Just to find your type. Are you sending the notes? Wait. In chat, please. अरे पच्चीस स्क्रीनशॉट ले भी लिए भाई नहीं रे भाई नहीं खींचा तुम्हारी बच्चू खींचने का कोई शौक नहीं है इंस्टा पे डालूंगा रुख तो पवार देखो देता हूँ मैं रुख
What we discussed last time? Ah, percentage composition. Okay, another chapter. Now let us go for the questions of this topic. Questions of this topic. Okay. How many questions are left? Exercise one B. Is there any left? All of you check one C. Children, one C exercise. Look. Give me one C. Now, learn question number one. See exercise. All of you open, and in that you will find question number two. Complete the table. Okay. okay. Complete the following table. Third question. Sodium chloride reacts. So after completing the table, okay. आप लोग क्या करना है क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री पे जाना है एंड देन वी सी दिस आंसर्स ओके कम ऑन स्टार्ट बैलेंसिंग तो आई थिंक सो वी हैव डन मोस्ट ऑफ देम हियर देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 आल्सो वी हैव डन टेंथ बाकी है और 11 का करेक्ट करना है सो लेट्स सी वन बाय वन आई थिंक द फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स वाला क्वेश्चन हो गया ना अपना वन सी नहीं नहीं ओके क्लियर डन Fill in the blanks first. All of you, fill in the blanks. Question one C, page number. Page number sir, fifteen. Huh? Fifteen. One by children, page number fifteen. Yeah. Okay. One C exercise. Question number one. Come on, let us start straight away. Cholo, first. What do you? Silicon is simple dash for oxygen and for hydrogen. Dash. No, no, two dash. Dalton used the symbol dash for oxygen for either dash and oxygen. Dash for oxygen and dash for hydrogen. अच्छा जनरल figurative symbol है कि chemical symbol है. Dalton का symbol figurative था. ठीक है ना? तो oxygen के लिए क्या था? Circle. Hydrogen के लिए क्या था? Dash and hydrogen. ठीक है जनरल अंदर. दो ब्लैंक बनना ही होता है नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन शॉर्ट फॉर्म राइट ना सिंपल सिंपल रिप्रेजेंट डैश ऑफ एटम्स ऑफ एन एलिमेंट शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ एन एटम ऑफ एन एलिमेंट ना ओके सिंपल का डेफिनेशन देखिए सब लोग को मालूम पड़ेगा शॉर्ट फॉर्म जनरल शॉर्ट फॉर्म आएगा थर्ड पढ़िए भक्ति एक सिंबल फॉर्मूला नंबर ऑफ आइटम सिंबल भी फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला आ गया नेक्स्ट सोडियम बड़ी आशी ना आशी ना आशी ता सॉरी आशी ता बोल सोडियम क्लोराइड सोडियम इस ग्राम साइड इस बाइक्लोराइड साइड हाँ सोडियम इस व्हाट सोडियम इस बेसिक रेडिकल इसे बोलते हैं फॉर्म बेस एक्सप्लोराइड इस एसिडिक रेडिकल ठीक है बोलो देन चलो नेक्स्ट वन पढ़िए देवान टाइम्स ऑफ कार्बन इन सीएच फोर इज डैश इन सी टू एच सिक्स डैश इन सी टू एच फोर डैश एंड इन सी टू एच टू इज डैश नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइटम देखिए होगा नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइटम कितने हैं कार्बन के साथ फोर उसका बैलेंस ही फोर हो गया फिर हाँ कार्बन फिर उसके बाद सिक्स हो गया तो सिक्स हाइड्रोजन आइटम से थे दें यहाँ पे अगेन फोर ठीक है ना बाद में दो हाइड्रोजन नहीं है तो दो ऐसा करके उन लोगों ने दिया कॉन्सेप्ट Fe three iron. Fe Cl two. Fe Cl two. अच्छा Fe Cl two is what? 
Is that two and three? Yes so two and three. Yes. So the next one. Spandan. Online, online. Ah, spandan. There's no gas, sir. Spandan, where are you? Okay, Shreya, tell me the next question. The formula of ion three carbonate is. क्या हुआ सर का गए अरे द्वारका मैम ने बोला राजू वहां पे कुछ पावर इशू चालू है वही होगा इसलिए डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए अच्छा ठीक है तो मैं भी डिस्कनेक्ट हो गई थी यार सर ने मेरे को पूछा और डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए मैं भी वैसा ही हो गया अरे सर ने देखो पूछा ना सर दे वर लाइक सर सस्पेंडन सो गया सस्पेंडन गेम खेल रहा है <laughs> भाई मैं डिस्कनेक्ट हो गया था बहुत चंदा ने दे यहां पे मालूम है रे मेरे को वो लोग मस्त तेरी खींच रहे थे कौन सा आयन सर ने कुछ लिखवाया क्या मतलब एक्सरसाइज आप भी गायब हो गए सर अनिश को बोला शांत रहे चलो अभी ओपन योर बुक ओपन योर बुक चाइल्ड श्रेया वॉल्यूम पेज नंबर कौन सा है सर आपका आवाज बहुत ज्यादा ब्रेक कर रहा है सर ब्रेक हो रहा है अभी हाँ सर बराबर सुनो क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ठीक है सब लोग स्टार्ट कीजिए लिखना शुरू कीजिए वेरी गुड Both of you are doing nicely. Spandan. Why is the answer? Why is that? The formula of iron three carbon. Three carbon. Did you? 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 Uh, can you see? Okay. I am coming. Yes, sir. Big N C N A N. Now, Shreya and Spandan. Question number two. Me, jaiye. What is the question, Ashita? Complete the following. Complete the following table. Take a table. The I. Of course, me pencil se lik. You have to write down with pencil. Take it, na. Come on. Sir, so, volume me karna hai. Ah, volume me karna hai. <laughs> स्टार्ट सब पूरा लिखना है कंप्लीट करना 
नेट का प्रॉब्लम है सर बार बार डिस्कनेक्ट हो रहा हूँ आवाज तेरा आवाज ठीक से आ रहा है लेकिन नेट क्यों जा रहा है अरे सर यहाँ पर यार नेट गांव में सर नेट का प्रॉब्लम है सर तुम यू आर इन विलेज नाउ यस सर ओके ओके चलो उधर ही स्टेबल रहो और करो ये सब करो क्वेश्चन इंस्टाग्राम दूंगा। अच्छा। ओके। 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 ओके।
रिमेनिंग यू विल डू इट बिकॉज थोड़ा कुछ कंपाउंड्स आते हैं ठीक है ना अबाउट से एक में कितने आठ है तो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स एट अबाउट फिफ्टी कंपाउंड्स आते हैं थर्ड क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ दिल्ड थर्ड क्वेश्चन नेवान इज रीडिंग रिमेनिंग कंपाउंड यू विल डू एट होम कैलकुलेशन एरर है क्या हां कैलकुलेशन सर 143.5 प्लस 90 सर वो 233.5 होना चाहिए ना 2 33.5 233 हां ये आ रही है 220 और 233 ये कितना है 62 62 70 90 हो गया सर की 143 90 थर्ड़ी 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 अरे क्या रॉन्ग सर 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 आप सिंपल कैलकुलेट करके देखिए वन फोर्टी थ्री प्लस नाइनटी सर टू थर्टी थ्री आ रहा है अब बोल मेरा अब बोल ना एक बड़ी बड़ी हाँ अरे इतना इतना मतलब ट्वेंटी थ्री ना एंड इतना ट्वेंटी थ्री था हाँ ट्वेंटी थ्री सो नो इतना ट्वेंटी थ्री है मैं उसके ट्वेंटी एट लिखा था ठीक है सर ट्वेंटी थ्री लिखा है हाँ उसमें ट्वेंटी थ्री लिखा है ये कितना हो रहा है इसे सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी टू सिक्सटी पाइस सेवेंटी पाइस एटी पाइस चिल्ड्रन अब बर Was this a slight uh, bad error? So next one, what is it? Water. Only atomic. Only atomic. Fourth question. Fourth question. Dick. Dick, but I just. 
पवार तू अकेला मेरा तो तेरे को इतना मारूंगा इतना मारूंगा ना तू तो सोच नहीं सकता तेरी फोटो वायरल कर दो as well as question priya next question padhi for uh, this uh, for fourth ka sub question ki fifth question padhi hey, fifth question to abhi karna hai na ha fifth question boliye magnesium ka aapne bola ha sir ho gaya ho gaya fifth wala boliye fifth wala ha uh, what are polyatomic ions give to example सेवन पढ़िए 
सर कौन सा क्वेश्चन कर रहे हो सर रिपीट करो ना क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन चलो बोलो देवान थोड़ी लाउडली आपने बोर्ड पे कुछ किया अभी पहले उसके बाद कुछ किया नहीं ना सर अभी वो नेक्स्ट जो कुछ आएगा कैलकुलेशन आई विल डू नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर 8 चिल्ड्रन बैलेंसिंग पे है ठीक है व्हिच ऑलरेडी आई हैव ठीक है तो आप लोग वो क्या करना है घर में प्रैक्टिस कीजिए इसका देन क्वेश्चन नंबर 9 पे जाते हैं चलो व्हाट इज नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन आई थिंक सो दिस पार्ट वाज डन लास्ट टाइम ये क्वेश्चन किया था कि नहीं नाइन्थ नहीं हुआ था नाइन्थ नहीं हुआ था चलो लेट्स डू नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन चिल्ड्रन व्हाट इज द नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ओके चलो नाइन चलो फर्स्ट रीड आउट नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन यानी मुद्दे पे रूप किया है डिफाइन या नहीं कौन से उन्होंने किया नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन जो पावर अब देखते हो तो किया है अरे नहीं क्या बताए सर मैं लगता किया है सर ये राइट चलो चलो फिर भी एक बार वापस कर लेते सम ऑफ यू माइट नॉट हैव डन ओके नाउ बंदन सर नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन किया है सर पहले हां वही किया है चलो एक कर दे आशिता वांट्स टू गेट द आंसर नहीं आता है ना आपको चलो नाउ गो फॉर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ओवर देयर व्हाट इज दैट डिफाइन द एटॉमिक मास यूनिट बोलिए बोलो चलो बोलो माइनस नहीं डैश कार्बन डैश ट्वेल्व कार्बन ट्वेल्व लाइस चलो इसका वैल्यू इतना है 
ਗ੍ਰਾਫਸ ਚਲੋ ਬੋਲੋ ਦੈਨ ਯੈਸ ਚਲੋ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਵਨ ਸਰ ਕੁਝ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਰਹਾ ਸਰ ਕੀ ਬੋਲਾ ਉਹ ਅਰੇ ਤੂੰ ਕੀ ਸੋ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਇਧਰ ਸੇ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਰਹਾ ਤੂੰ ਚੈੱਕ ਇਟ ਆਊਟ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੀਰੇ ਬੋਲ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਚਾ ਚਲੋ ਅਭੀ ਸੁਬੰਦਨ ਤੂੰ ਜੋੜ ਸੇ ਬੋਲੋ ਉਧਰ ਸੇ ਬੰਦਨ ਅਰੇ ਸਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਰਹਾ ਉਹ ਕੀ ਬੋਲ ਰਹਾ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਵੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਰਿਪੀਟ ਕਰੋ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 9 9 ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨੰਬਰ 9 ਯੂ ਰੀਡ ਆਨਸਰ ਡਿਫਾਈਨ ਐਟੋਮਿਕ ਮਾਸ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਆ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਅਭੀ ਸਭ ਕੋ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਚਲੇ ਬੋਲੀ ਅਭੀ ਆਪ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੰਟ ਸਰ ਓਡੀਏ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਸਰ 1 ਮਿੰਟ ਬੁੱਕ ਖੋਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਬੁੱਕ ਖੋਲ ਰਿਹਾ ਸ਼ਾਂਤ ਰਹੇ ਅਭੀ ਆਵਾਜ਼ ਆ ਰਹੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਹਾਂ ਸਰ ਅਰੇ ਵੇਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਯਰ ਬੁੱਕ ਅਰੇ ਸਰ ਨੀਚੇ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਸਰ ਆ ਤੋ ਐਡ ਕਰੋ ਉਸਕੋ ਸਰ ਮੈਂ ਖੁਦ ਆਨਸਰ ਢੂੰਡ ਰਿਹਾ ਥਾ ਤਭੀ ਮੈਂ ਉਸਕੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਕੀ ਹੈਲਪ ਮੰਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਥਾ ਸਰ ਉਸਕਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਹੀ ਸੁਣਾਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਿਆ ਅੱਛਾ ਚਲੋ ਤੂੰ ਵੀ ਰੀਡ ਕਰੋ ਉਸਮੇ ਆਨਸਰ ਦੀ ਹੈ ਰੀਡ ਦਿ ਆਨਸਰ ਚੈੱਕ ਐਟੋਮਿਕ ਮਾਸ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਫਾਈਨਡ ਐਜ਼ 1/12 ਆਫ ਦ ਮਾਸ ਆਫ ਕਾਰਬਨ C12 ਦੈਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਪਾਰਟ ਉਸਕੋ ਰੀਡ ਕਰੋ second part are second part read kijiye andar chalo i think so shreya would like to give the answer chalo shreya padhiye shreya is very sitting at the हां वो अच्छा है क्योंकि स्पंदन तुम बार-बार इधर से उधर मूव कर रहे हो ना हां तो काम करते आ रहे हैं पढ़ाई हां बोलिए श्रेया देखो कितना स्टेबली अपना बैठ के चीज रीडिंग नाइसली चलो श्रेया बोलिए कैलकुलेट द मॉलिक्युलर मास ऑफ द फॉलोइंग 1 CuSO4 5H2O डायरेक्ट आंसर बोलिए उसका डायरेक्ट आंसर CuSO4 5H2O डायरेक्ट इज 249.5 मल्टीपल चॉइस है इधर आंसर दिए दे उसको मत देखिए बिना देख के आपको कर कीप योर हैंड ओवर देयर चले और उधर अपना बाय टू देखो ट्राई करो
कोई करेक्शन ही है ना अरे ये वाला क्वेश्चन अच्छा ये आंसर है क्या हाँ वो तो कर लिया हम लोग ठीक है अब हम लोग का क्या है होमवर्क क्वेश्चन में कौन सा कौन सा पार्ट है मल्टीपल चॉइस है क्या वो वट इज दैट चलो नाउ इसको मत देखो ये हाँ इसमें से देख रहे वन थ्री फाइव सेवन नाइन वैसा करो चलो ठीक है चलो स्टार्ट कीजिए पहला क्या है पहला क्वेश्चन क्या है अर्षिता पढ़िए फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन में क्या लिखा है हाँ चलो वो वोट आर दिएबल वैल्यूज इस कौन सा फर्स्ट एलिमेंट है सीओ तो विच आर दिएबल वैल्यूज इज सीओ प्लस वन एंड सीओ प्लस थर्ड 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 क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन बोला ना फर्स्ट का पहले दिस इज आपको सिंपल देन देन पोटेशियम कार्बोनेट ठीक है ये सब तुमको बायट कर रहा है चलो और एक दो क्वेश्चन पढ़ लो बोलो पोटेशियम का बैलेंस ही क्या है प्लस सल्फाइड का वैलेंस ही टू माइनस तो यहाँ पे क्या हुआ दिस इस टू दिस प्रोस ठीक है प्रोडक्शन सल्फाइड सल्फाइड है कि सल्फाइड है डैडी का डी है कि टाइगर का टी सल्फाइड टाइगर टाइ आई टी है आई टी है अच्छा ओके ओके देन इट इस के टू एस टू बस ओके सल्फाइड रहेगा तो आपको ऐसे लेकिन वही मैं सोच रहा था कि इस नेक्स्ट वन चलो ये तो आगे आप लोग इजी हो जाएगा नेक्स्ट पेज पे क्वेश्चन देखिए नेक्स्ट पेज पे क्या फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन क्वेश्चन नहीं हाँ वो यही क्वेश्चन सेवन क्वेश्चन पढ़िए ये ना प्लान कीजिए उसको ऑल ऑफ यू प्लान इट आउट टेल मी व्हाट इज आंसर क्वेश्चन
But then, Shaped by the compound and then also is little about the yeah, because of catalyst to increase the speed of a chemical reaction. Which increases the speed of a chemical reaction. Okay, next one. Ninth one. Ah, what is the? So ninth one is. Hey, eighth one is a question. Ah, what do the symbols denote? Irreversible. Is me?
Now rub your palms. Keep your eyes closed only, and briskly make it warm as far as possible. Then keep on your eyes. Only then, what door to press but be gentle. So, you slowly open your eyes, very slowly. Allow the light to come very slowly. 
comes to plan. The benefit of this exercise is what? Is that your uh, positivity will increase, your eyesight will improve, just like a number will In fact, it will be to do along with this eye exercise. Third, your digestion will improve. Okay? And next, as Rath could mean be a chi again, we to do this way. And next day when you get up, you will feel fresh. Okay? So these are the strengths of this. And when you switch from one subject to the other, two for three minutes, you will feel nice. Okay? And grasping power will improve. Memory power will improve. It's a positive thing. Okay? Well then, thank you very much. Chalo, bye-bye. And then, next time we'll start with the new Sir, sorry for the inconvenience cost, sir, but the internet was really bad over here. No problem. Okay. Chalo. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, we can leave, no? Sir, can we leave the meeting? Meeting. You can leave the meeting, na? Over yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.